this screencast is going to build off of the for each screencast. What I'm going to show here is more of a real world example. I've got a spreadsheet here of the high temperatures and low temperatures in uh, Boulder, Colorado, as a function of the year and then the month and the day. So we've got all this data here. And what we want to do is be able to look through these to see which days exceeded, for example, a temperature of 90 degrees, or which days had a low of less than a certain value. So for example, I can run the high temperature program here, and it says display the days in the year that exceeded what temperature. So if I wanted to have it automatically search through for all the days that exceeded 90 degrees, I could put in 90 there, and then it goes through and it determines all of the days that exceeded 90 degrees and it also put the date. I've also got this reset button on here to clear everything. I've got a, a low temperature so display the days in the year that were below a certain temperature. So maybe I wanted to look to see which days had a low of less than or equal to 10 and I can do that and it looks through and it displays the following. So that's what we're going to build in this screencast. So we're going to make this sub so that it'll work on any year. Because 2016 is a leap year, we don't want to make it always 366 days. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it always start in cell A2. And then I'm going to record a macro. And I've already done this, but you can record a macro for the Control shift 8 to select that block of cells. And the code for that is just selection.currentRegionSelect. And then we're going to count the number of rows of our selection because that'll tell us how many different items we have to search through. Using the selection.rows.count, I introduce a new variable nr, so I have to dim that. We're also going to be iterating through an index, so I'm going to dim i as an integer. So now we're ready to go through the iteration. Now you notice this is going to be a selection. I don't have to start in row 1 because that's just the labels here. So I'm going to start my for loop for i equals 2 to the number of rows. Now inside the for loop for each row that we're searching through, I'm going to check to see if the temperature exceeds a value that's input by the user. So we first need to input the high temperature from the user. So I've got high temperature, I've dimmed as a double equals input box, display the days in the year that exceeded what temperature. So now inside of our for loop, we're going to search through each row to see if column four of the selection, row i, is greater than ht. So I've got this uh, if then, if selection.cells i comma four, then the first thing I'm gonna do is define a new variable c. It's gonna be a counting number as an integer. Once we find a match. I'm going to say c equals c plus 1. So if we find the first match, c will be bumped up from 0 to 1, and that'll be found on the ith row. I think in the example I did, i was 163. So it'll say range g1 will equal to selection.cells 163, 100, row 163, column 2. So that's the month. It's going to display the month. We're going to concatenate that with a forward slash. Then we're going to concatenate that with the day. Concatenate that with the year, which is found in column 1. Similarly, in column H, we want to display the actual temperature. I've added in the debug assert just so we can make sure that this is working, the writing it to the spreadsheet. So I'm going to go ahead and press play. Let's do 90. And it stops at 163. We can debug now. We bump up C by 1, so we've already found one that exceeded our high temperature that the user input. And then we put over here in column G1, we put the date. In column H1, we enter the high temperature that day. And then I can keep going. So it looks like it's working. I can delete this line, and we're ready to go. There's one more thing I'm going to add. I'm going to add a reset code, which is just columns G to H clear. So we're going to clear whatever's in those columns. At the beginning of my high temp sub, I'm going to put call reset, just so we don't forget. It's always going to clear those cells. So we're ready to go. And now I can just run this all. Let's do something like 87 this time. 
and it goes through, it records or writes to the spreadsheet all the days that exceeded 87. So now we're going to make a couple modifications to this. The first modification, we want some labels up here at the top of columns G and H. So I'm going to add in three lines of code. If and only when C equals 1, then we're going to say range G1 will equal date, and we're going to have temperature. Because of that, we have to shift down everything. So we have to shift all of our writing to the spreadsheet by 1. Another thing I like to do is at the very end, I like to just select cell A1 so the user doesn't, isn't left with a big selection. And one more thing I like to do is I like to add this application.screenUpdating equals false to the top. So that means once we're into this sub, it's going to kind of freeze the screen and the user is not going to be able to see anything going on behind the screen. So they're not going to see any you know, cells and selecting going on and then the result is just displayed at the very end. I'm also going to assign buttons. So I've just gone up here to the Developer tab, Insert Button. And you can right click and do Assign Macro. So you can assign it to the subroutine that we just made. And we're going to, in a minute, we're going to make a low temperature modification. So that's why I added those. Now I'm just going to copy and paste and we're going to make a low temp sub. I'm going to call this low temp. We have a LT instead of HT. We have a different prompt. Display the days in the year that were below a certain temperature. We're going to change this HT to an LT. We also need to flip this around to a less than. And instead of using column 4, that's the high temperature data, we have to replace the 4 with a 5, so that's the fifth column. We need to also do that down here because we want to display the fifth column. And I think we're ready to go. So over here on our spreadsheet, I'm going to do the low temp. And maybe we want to see which days the low temperature was less than 10. So I can do that, and it displays those days. And you also notice that when I do this, you don't see the selection being highlighted. If I put in 10, you don't see, if you look here, you don't see anything that's going on behind the scenes because I did that application dot screen updating equals false and all we're left with is the final result. One really important thing that I forgot that I alluded to at the very beginning was I need to select A2 in this case. If you don't do this and your active cell is not in the original selection, then this entire thing is not going to work and your code won't work. Thanks for watching.